Peace, family. This is Lions Day with another news and commentary. Um, it's been an officer-involved shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and the, um, this, uh, this uh, thanks to the article from the Tennessee, from, from the TC, and, and it, um, I'm going to go ahead and read this. It says that the TBI, which is Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, the video shows police shooting took place after Daniel Hambrick ran from the officer. Uh, video evidence led investigators significantly revise the description of the chain of events that led uh, Metro Nashville Police Department officers shoot and kill a 25-year-old man Thursday night in North Nashville. Although many questions remain unanswered, police identify Andrew Delk, 25, who was white as the officer who shot and killed Daniel Hambrick, also 25, who was black. Delk, who graduated from the police academy in December 2016, is on administrative leave while the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation looks into the shooting. The shooting of a black man by a white officer sparked anger among the community activists who said police are racially biased. Many continued their calls for the impl implement implementation of body cameras for every officer and civilian oversight of the police department. There is, a, there is no body... There is no body cameras or dash camera footage of the shooting, but according to the TBI's latest account, surveillance footage around the John Henry Hale apartments captured at least part of the encounter. Dell drove into the parking lot of the apartment complex around 7 p.m. after spotting a white Chevrolet Impala that had been driving erratic erratically in the, in the area earlier and had refused to stop for police, according to the TBI. Video show Hambrick and two other men getting out of the car as Delk approached. When Hambrick turned to run, the TBI said cameras showed Delk chasing him on foot. An earlier account of the shooting did not include details about the chase. At one point, based upon the video, Hambrick appears to have a dark colored object in his hand. The TBI said in a statement, the situation escalated further for reasons still under investigation and result in the officer firing his service weapon several times. Hamrick died soon after medics transported him from the scene near the intersection of Joe Johnson Avenue and 17th Avenue North across the street from Watkins Park. Agents recover a handgun at the scene and police said in a tweet that Hamrick had been carrying it during the shooting. Police with the Juvenile Crimes Task Force had initially spotted the white Chevy, Chevrolet Impala earlier in the evening while sweeping the area looking for stolen cars. Delk is a member of the task force. Authorities have not said if the car was in fact stolen. They also have not identified the two other individuals in the vehicle with, with Hamrick. Cell phone video taken just after the shooting circulated on social media Thursday night showing Hamrick's body lying on the sidewalk. Witnesses in the video describe him as being handcuffed. Police spokesman Don Aaron said it is not usual to do so for officer safety. An unidentified woman recording the video can be heard urging someone to call the family of Dan Dan to let them know he had been shot by police. Friends expressed condolences on social media for Hambrick and a GoFundMe account started in his name describing him as a son, a brother, an uncle, a cousin, a friend to many, and now a victim of another senseless killing. A relative declined to comment when reached by phone, but said the family was working on funeral arrangements. Hamrick has a series of previous arrests on his record and have been convicted on robbery, weapons, and drug charges. During his short time on the force, Delk has maintained a clean record, earning three letters of combination from Chief Steve Anderson for outstanding performance of duty. In a recent evaluation, a supervisor wrote, Delk shows good judgment while performing his assigned duties, but noted he was still a young officer and needs some assistance with new and difficult, call, difficult calls for service. Residents had an opportunity to voice frustration simmering after the shooting at a community outreach meeting Friday. Michael Jordan, president of the J. Henry Hale Resident Association, said the main feeling in the community is anger. 
It's still fresh in New Jordan, says. Members of the police department at the meeting explained to upset community members that they can't answer every question because the investigation is still under the jurisdiction of the TBI, a relatively new arrangement brokered after the fatal shooting of Jacques Clemens in February 2017. An outline in a memorandum or an outline of memorandum of understanding between the TBI and Nashville police. TBI agents now investigating all of the M MN MPD's fatal shootings and present their findings to D District, of District Attorney Glenn Funk. The community wants answers and we can't give them, said M MNPD Deputy Chief of Police Brian Johnson. Community activists who are critical of police have blasted the department of failing to quick dis distribute body cameras, a prominent demand after Clem's death. Police said on Friday that plans to implement body cameras are ongoing. Community oversight now are a group campaigning for a civilian board that will review allegations of police misconduct was galvanized after the shooting. They, ne they need nearly 2,000 more signatures to get a referendum for a community oversight board on the ballot for November gen general election. We have volunteers out in the community find out finding out about the shooting while collective si signatures activist Dita Murphy said on Twitter if you feel like you want to do something to help sign the petition and you know this is that that's in um basically that is in for this article um you know the police says that you know they saw he had a gun and this officer that shot him, basically sounded like he was he's a rookie still, um, had no choice but to shoot him. Um this to me, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read um I'm gonna go ahead before I'm gonna go ahead and play this video. This is for the police encounter. This this is from the TBI explains to the press of what happened that night. Here it is. Excuse me, guys. Um, it's a commercial on, so we're going to go ahead and listen to the TBI agent explain what happened in the next couple of minutes. At the request of 20th District Attorney General Glenn Funk, and per the memorandum of understanding that's in place between his office, the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department, and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, TBI agents continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding an officer-involved shooting in North Nashville on Thursday evening. Preliminary information indicates the incident occurred shortly after 7 o'clock this evening. Earlier this evening, officers from the Metro Police Department's Juvenile Crimes Task Force were looking throughout the North Nashville area for stolen vehicles and at a location several miles away happened to see a vehicle traveling in an erratic pattern. An officer attempted to stop that vehicle, but the driver did not, and instead fled the area. Officers did not give chase. Instead, they expanded their search area and located the vehicle a short time away here in the area of 17th Avenue North and Joe Johnston Avenue. An officer initiated a traffic stop. The vehicle stopped, and a subject reportedly emerged from the vehicle with a firearm in his hand. The situation escalated for reasons still very much under investigation right now and resulted in at least one Metro police officer firing his service weapon several times, striking the subject. There was at least one other indiv individual in the vehicle who drove off from the immediate area and abandoned the vehicle nearby. The Metro police officers here on the scene rendered aid immediately after the incident Medics transported the subject from the scene for medical treatment, but he died a short time later. No law enforcement officers sustained injury in this incident. TBI agents continue to gather relevant facts. We also have a team of forensic scientists who have a violent crime response team unit here. Those are specialized across the forensic disciplines. They will be working for the next several hours here on the scene to gather any of the relevant details. As you know, the TBI acts as fact finders in these types of investigations. We make no determination as to whether the officer's actions were justified. That decision rests solely with the district attorney general.
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you you heard what um, the TBI agent just said that you know they he explained what happened that you know the guy did had a gun, um, and the, and the, and the officer opened fire, shot him one time, killed him. So um, what I will do right now is gonna go ahead and listen to the community's response to the shooting. And 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 then I will give you and finishing the rest of my commentary. Okay, um, we haven't, um, I am trying to find a video, but unfortunately we couldn't find it from the community's reaction to it. The bottom line is this, um, we basically learned that, you know, the suspect was, you know, really that the police officer chased him. Um, the officer fired at him one time and killed him. But the thing of it is, is that we really do, they don't have, this is what's so sketchy about this story, that the police officers don't have no dash cam or no body cam, but they do have footages of the cam of the apartment complex where the incident took place. So we really don't know what happened there, what's been said and everything else. So I think that um, the TBI, which is the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, is continuing their investigation of what's been said how it happened, um, even though the um, even though the victim who has a criminal record, but we but like I said, I'm not gonna judge his past. I'm I'm figuring out what happened that night that he was killed. That what how did the officer shot him once in the back? This 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 is what I'm saying. That how did did it happen? You know, people say there's been a gun's been recovered. We really don't know if that's his gun. We really don't know what we we're still trying to figure out what happened. And and so um, I'm just going to let this story plays out. But if I if, if, if there's any new information, I will do another video about it, you know, do an update about it. But in the meantime, all we know is this is that there was an officer involved shooting in Nashville um, that. Uh, that they claim the life of a twenty of a really a twenty five year old man, um, 
and a, a 25 year old officer killed him and basically he was you know shot once in the back trying to run away but I'm going to keep you posting on this story um, if there's more information about it. But in the meantime, um, um, let me know what you think about this article. Um, share my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my reaction channel, and subscribe to my Black Junction channel for more news and commentary. With that being said, it's Lions Den signing off. Deuces.